Hello everyone and welcome back to another album review. In this video I'm going to review Young Blood by Young Blood. Young Blood is a fairly new pop punk artist that emerged in the scene in the late 2010s, and with a couple of singles and a few albums throughout the years, he's managed to gain a little bit of a popularity. And just being another one of those cases where we're seeing this sort of revival of pop rock and pop punk sound, which in my opinion it doesn't really work, no matter the attempts that I see for this sound becoming mainstream again, all of this feel like copycats from stuff that we've heard multiple times before, and it doesn't really bring anything new, instead it keeps all of the obnoxious and unappealing elements that you would find in genres like this back in the day. And unfortunately I would say that Youngblood is not that much of an exception, when it comes to his sound, I haven't really managed to find anything that would really grab my attention, or that I would find to be anything sort of remotely interesting. The only research that I remember Young Blood actually fitting in a song was with a track Obey by Bring Me The Horizon. Truly an exceptional moment and something that I was not expecting to like as much as I did. Apart from that I obviously didn't really get into this album having high expectations whatsoever. I just decided to give this a shot knowing well that I possibly not gonna like this one. However the thing is that I ended up disliking the album for sort of different reasons than the ones that I expected. I mean, we're still talking about a pretty obnoxious album, but I just found it to be more lackluster than what I would expect. Because remembering from some of the other stuff that I've heard from Youngblood, I remember just incorporating other elements in his music as well, like elements of trap or electropop, you know, giving a bit of a more modern flair. Even though I wouldn't like the results out of tracks like this, you could at least argue that he tries more than just one thing, but that's not really that much the case with the self titled album over here, which is pretty straightforward and just going into some pretty simple, basic and average directions of pop punk and pop rock. To the point where the most shocking thing about this album is how much lackluster it is. Even in its really short 33 minute mark, it ends up becoming really boring really fast, without having that much more to provide. If you listen to a couple of songs, you basically got the gist of how the rest of the album is gonna sound like, and I believe that in this regard, it's actually kinda unfortunate, because I could actually say that some of the ideas over here are not really that bad. We're not talking about a project over here that is as reprehensible as the brand new Machine Gun Kelly album, but it really sucks that this album, even though I feel that it had the potential for something better, it goes for the bare minimum. We're talking about an album that plays it really, really safe over here. Like the very first track, for example, The Funeral, is not really all that bad. When it comes to like pop rock standards, it's a pretty basic song, but I believe it gets the job done, it is catchy, it has a nice chorus to it, it sounds okay, and I could argue that this is kind of the same case with the next track, Tissues, but the issue that I have is that Tissues sounds way too similar with the funeral. There are actually very little things that make those tracks feel different because when it comes to melodies and structures, I believe that we see many identical points over here. And I'd say that the album kinda goes downhill from here, the track Memories with Willow is really bland, I think that Willow's verse sounds kinda obnoxious, and yeah, I don't really believe that there is anything all that much memorable with this song, or with the very next one, Cruel Kids, which is easily one of the most forgettable moments over here. Then we get something slightly different and with like more electronic elements with the track I Cry To, but I'd say it's one of the worst moments over here due to its really bad autotune vocals, which are done in a way that I don't really see how it complements the song. It's like really short, the idea feels sort of unfinished, and the main thing is that I can't really see the purpose behind this song, even though it tries to be something slightly different in comparison to the rest of the album, sounding like it's repeating the same thing over and over again, this is a really weak experimentation with this track. And then for some reason we have a really smooth ballad with a track Sweet Heroine, which really doesn't develop to anything all that interesting at all. I never really liked tracks like this, and yeah, this one also sounds really bland and engaging. And the thing is that I'd say that Sweet Heroine possibly has some of the most interesting vocal inflections out of the entire album, so it sucks that they're used for such a mellow and uninteresting track like this. Then the album picks up the pace slightly a little bit with a few more cuts and energetic songs like Sex Not Violence and Don't Go actually has a kinda catchy chorus to it, the verses though and the rest of the track just sounds 
really bland and really uninteresting. We get another really uninteresting and unengaging ballad with a track Die for a Night. And finally the album ends with its longest moment with the track The Boy in the Black Dress, which I'd say it's really boring because it goes on for so long, especially for the type of song that it is, and especially for how lackluster it is, and how it doesn't really develop that much after a certain point, so it feels like it's just adding material constantly without really providing anything that much new or that much engaging. And it doesn't really help how throughout most of this album, we don't really get that much of an energy or a punch to it. Like some of the tracks over here start with such a smooth tone that you can easily just put in a commercial. Even though I'd say there are a few memorable melodies, the album certainly lacks energy and originality. It's not necessarily that it's that much bad for what it does, but it's extremely overplayed to the point where it brings nothing new to the table. And it doesn't really need to do, but there could have been more than that because this album is so dry so hollow and it lacks personality. And it's not like we don't get Young Blood's personality with this album with the lyricism and the themes, it's just that it's a predictable one, one that we've seen in genres like this being portrayed multiple times. It's just really cliche at this point, so the unfortunate thing is that for me, this album was extremely unappealing and quite a disappointment, not because I was necessarily expecting that much out of the album, but because I actually saw the potential for something even greater over here. I'm gonna give Youngblood a 3 plus out of 10. What's your opinion on this album? Like it, dislike it, why? And what do you want me to review next time? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.